Welcome to Back to the Basics, how to use your hammer in Visual Studio. My name is Keith Elder. Today we're going to be doing part two of the Visual Studio series. Today we're going to look at how to build your first project inside of Visual Studio. If you would like to get more information about how to build applications, I've got a few pointers for you. Number one, follow me out on Twitter, twitter.com slash Keith Elder. You can also subscribe to my blog as well as the podcast that we do called Deep Fried Bytes. We give a lot of great information for developers, upcoming developers. We cover a lot of technologies, tips, tricks, and pointers. We're available on iTunes and the Zoom store if you want to subscribe to the podcast. So today let's get started in building the first project in Visual Studio. To build a project in Visual Studio, you're going to open up Visual Studio and go to File, New, Project. Okay. Now once you do that, you're going to get a window called the New Project window. The Project Types window allows you to choose various project types, whether you want to build a smartphone device, an office plugin, a web service, a database and so on and so forth. You can also target which version of the framework you want to target to and on the template side when you select a particular project type you'll notice that you're able to choose various templates. So for in this example we have Windows and we're going to choose the simplest absolute most simple project we can create which is a console application. Okay, um, And we'll talk about that more here in a second. So after you click create new project, Visual Studio is going to initialize the template. It's going to create you a solution. It's going to create you a project for your particular solution and place a file in that project. So what I'm talking about is over here on this side right here. So we got a solution and we got a project and it gave us a file. So that, that's what the template basically did. One of the things that you should notice is you didn't ask for a solution but you got one anyway. That's just how Visual Studio works and we got a project. Okay, So a project we'll learn later on is just a collection of files. All right. So let's go ahead and do this um, real, real quick. So I'm going to flip over to Visual Studio and we're going to create this project from scratch. So I'm going to go to File, New, project. Now again notice that you could press control shift in here and that would create a project for you if you're if if you are a command keyboard junkie like I am. So I'm going to press that and we get the new project type window. Let's just look at a few of these real quick. These are all the different types of web applications we could build. We can build tons of different office plugins, Excel, Word, Outlook and so on. Silverlight's really hot these days. The Olympics is going on right now and you can stream all the video and stuff right from the NBC Olympics with Silverlight. That's, that's where you'd go for that. WCF is for services. You can even build workflows, databases, just all different types of things. The simplest project we can create though is the console application as I mentioned earlier. And we're going to target this for .NET 3.5 and we're going to give it a name called First Project. We're going to press Enter and voila, we have a project created. Let's look at the Solution Explorer as it's called on the right side. And you'll see that we have a project here, which is our C Sharp project, which is in green. Notice that the C Sharp file is also in green. And we have a solution called First Project, okay? And it says one project out next to it. We're going to talk about solutions and projects in the next session in part three. But for now, this is, this is all I'm going to mention on that. Let's look at what this program file does. In C Sharp, the programming language, you have to have a main function inside of the program to actually kick it off. What the template did for us is it created a static void main function so that the program would initialize. Now most of you are probably familiar with what's called the command prompt in Windows. If you're not, you can press the Windows key uh, in Windows 7 or in Vista, type CMD and press enter. And This is what we're talking about. So this console app is a program that would run from the command prompt inside of the Windows operating system. A lot of stuff runs this particular way within Windows. You can make really short uh, programs that you want to run. You can pass parameters to them and things like that. If, you were, if you're coming from the Unix side of things, you're probably familiar with the Unix shell. This is pretty much the same thing. Not near as powerful, but it's pretty much the same thing. And So what we're creating is we're creating an executable that we can just run from this. Okay. So in order to run this program and this actually runs out of the box and to run it we can go to debug and then click start debugging which is the hotkey F5 that we'll be pressing from now on probably. Now I want you to pay close attention because what's going to happen is I'm going to press F5 here or, or click the menu option. Visual Studio is going to compile this application for us and then it's going to run it by launching the 
the command window for us, or a command window. And it's going to disappear really, really quickly. So watch and pay close attention. You ready? Set. Go. Okay, did you see that? It went by really, really fast. So what just happened is Visual Studio compiled this program and then ran it with the debugger. And we'll look at the debugger and, and stuff later on. What if I wanted to make it stop, though? Well, we could do that real simply here by typing console.readline which says reads the next line of characters from the standard input stream. In this case the input stream is going to be the command prop window. Okay, So let's do this again and hit debug start debugging. Watch what happens. We pop the same window open and it stopped. It's waiting for input from us. So you can imagine if you're writing a program that says what is your name and you would type your name Keith Elder and then it would print that information out. You can kind of see how how this would work. When I press enter here on the keyboard, I'm going to press it now, we we basically skipped over this line. There was nothing to do with the input that we uh, presented and so the program stopped and we're back into Visual Studio. Okay, so this is our very first program inside of Visual Studio. That's going to conclude today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, building your first project. Part three, we're going to look at some other things like solution facts and, and projects and sort of get a little deeper behind the scenes, kind of see what Visual Studio is doing for us, and then we'll continue this series and keep building on it. Thanks for tuning in to part two, how to use your hammer in Visual Studio. Back to the basics. My name is Keith Elder, and I look forward to talking with you out on the internet. Thanks again.